Robert, just uh, you had the off season now to kind of get yourself ready. Uh, how do you feel coming into today? And I know you just had the walkthrough, but do you feel prepared for what you guys have to do now? Yeah, I think everybody came prepared. You know, uh, did a great job uh, with their off season workouts. Have their mind right. So we're excited. This is what we this is what we train for. This is what we prepare for. So we're we're excited about it. Um, Robert, you have uh, faced sort of skeptics and doubters for many, many years in your career and, and, and always responded. With this latest wave um, of, of skepticism, how do you resist the urge or, or is there a temptation perhaps to prove them all wrong with one play, you know, and, and possibly overplay at the position rather than manage the game? No, I mean, you, you always let the game come to you, so you can't worry about what other people say. Um, that's not who you play for. You play for your teammates, your coaches, and your city. So um, that's all I've been focused on. And uh, all, I, all I can do is do what I can do to, to be the best player for this team and help this team win. So that's my focus, and it's nothing else. Along those lines, uh, coming off with all that you've had to come off, the injuries and, and the um, criticism and all that, what's been harder to maybe recover from, the injuries or some of the, the you know, physically or mentally? I mean, the injuries have definitely been harder to overcome, but, um, you know, those freak injuries happen for a reason. Uh, I don't know what it is. It's not anything that you can really prepare for, but you got to take it, take it, uh, take it with, uh, with when it comes. And um, my, my goal is to not let those happen. Um, you know, I didn't want to tear my ACL, definitely didn't want to dislocate my ankle. So it's, uh, it's not something that you, you wish or hope for. So when they do arise, it's something that, that God's trying to show you to make you stronger. And um, he's taking you through these valleys so that when you hit your peaks, you're ready for it learned from having gone through three training camps now and two and a half training camps I guess that you take into this one to, to help you prepare um, I mean it's just experience I, there's nothing I can say as far as uh, it's this or that it's, you know it's this is like the first day of school for a lot of us we get to see each other again we get to go out there play uh, practice together compete uh, every single day and that's all you can ask for uh, an opportunity to play this game at the highest level um, and whatever it is that you do it for you get a chance to, to put it on tape Robert, when you look back at how you played as a rookie and then the subsequent years, can you determine what the difference has been? Has it been injuries? Has it been changes in philosophy of offenses or coaches or anything? What in your mind is the difference between then and now? I don't know. It's, it's probably a combination of a lot of things, different offense, new coach, new philosophies, injuries. Um, you know, just things happen, but my focus now is to not worry about the past and uh, to focus on the future. And uh, the future started, you know, today uh, in the walkthrough, and we're getting ready to go so that we can practice every day to go out there and, and uh, prove it on the field. Uh, Rob. Hi, Rob. Um, much was made by um, the media and also by uh, Jay about how sharp you were in minicamp uh, those last couple of days. Were you able to take that momentum into the, into the, the six weeks off with you, and did that help you, give you a boost mentally? Um, no, I mean, I, you know, I'm, I'm great mentally. I don't know what you guys are talking about, but uh, <laughs> uh, I, I got you. Um, no, I mean, it was – that was a combination of everything that had happened the entire offseason. I think everybody's been extremely sharp. Um, you know, coming into the second year of the offense, it's it's a little easier. You kind of know what, what to expect and what to go through. And we're, we're building. We're not just learning the offense now. So um, I enjoyed that. It wasn't that it was necessarily all me and me being sharp. It was my guys being where they needed to be, us blocking up front. And uh, that's what happens. You can put good things on tape and have great days uh, when everybody's working together. And that's what we're working towards to make sure we're more consistent. What uh, what do you specifically though want to improve about your game? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean that's that's for me and the coaches and all of us to work on, not not for me to broadcast to the world, but just know I'm working. Robert, to, to Tarek's point, when you when you talk about the the mental approach during the off season, how different was that for you? Was there a certain degree of I guess fastidiousness or whatever it may be that you had going into this off season now, paying attention to those types of details and learning the offense? Um, I think it's something that you do every year, and um, my man here was saying that you know we've had we've had some changes to to our offense, uh, different coaches, different philosophies, and that's something that you have to to learn and, and know what your coach wants out of you, what he expects on certain plays and certain downs and distances, and I think that's something that I've been able to to really hone in on and lock in on as, as far as that, and then the fundamentals of the game, uh, just trying to make sure you get better and better every single day. Okay, I know you you want to look forward. I'm going to look back for one second in 2012. 
great with play action. The numbers were huge. Um, haven't done as much the last couple of years in terms of how many they're called, et cetera. Do you think with the run game, maybe the stronger emphasis there, that could become a bigger factor for you? And why do you feel that suits you? Um, yeah, I mean, did, did Jay say we were going to emphasize the run? Times. Then, then that's what we're going to do. And uh, <laughs> remember, Jay said that. And um, you know, my, my my thing is, as long as the threat of the run is there, it makes the play action a lot easier. Um, so I look forward to establishing that threat, not only myself, uh, but heavy heavy dosages of Alfred. And um, our line will be ready for that, and we'll be ready for all the play actions and all that stuff off of it. But you know, coach is never going to pin himself in a corner and say that's all that we're going to do. But we look forward to it. But do you think that's been a was that a key part of that for you? And and do you anticipate it could be that way again then? I mean, I mean. And we, we just want to be successful. So when you have to drop back, drop back and pass, you drop back and pass. When you can stay within your offense, whatever fabric that coach wants it to be, wants it to be, then that's what you do. Um, so like I said, I'm just not going to – I don't know. I don't know what he's going to run. I just know we're going to be successful. That's all I care about. <laughs> Rob, when you uh, look at some of the young guys on the team now, Jamison Crowder, uh, Matt Jones, how do you feel like they're going to help the offense become more dynamic? Yeah, I mean, we've got some, some talented skill guys um, at the forefront. Um, and, and then those younger guys are going to help uh, whenever they can. And, you know, it's, they're very talented. So it's not, it's not a matter of talent. It's a matter of knowledge and uh, what they know. So the faster they know it, the, the, the quicker they can show it on tape and, and prove it to the coaches, the, the quicker they'll be on the field. But um, I don't think you can go, go wrong with having all those guys in the mix. Rob, you obviously have plenty of sources of motivation, inspiration. At, now that you're a father, has that changed the way you prepare, the way you just approach things and look at the game, life, just your your career? Nice hat, by the way. Um, <laughs> matching, it's crazy. Um, yeah, you know, having having a baby girl now uh, made it really tough to leave to come to training camp, but it, it makes you focus focus in even that much more. Uh, just when you think you can't do something more, you know, God shows you something and shows you you can put a little more effort into it. And uh, everything I do is, is for my family, uh, it's for this team. So um, to be able to come here and, and play this game, if anything, a baby allows you to, to look at the world in a different way and not really stress about the little things as much. Um, you know, I was changing diapers and, and rocking babies to sleep all offseason, uh, aside from training, of course. Uh, but, um, you know, it, it's, it's fun. And I enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing them again. But right now, it's time for Daddy to go to work. Uh, Robert, a lot of uh, people have criticized you before about knowing when and when not to run. Uh, will you still be under any, you know, in your mind of saying when the right time to run and when not the right time to leave the pocket? No, uh, I'm going to play football. So uh, that's that's all I got to say for that. It's um, it's about playing the game, playing the game you know how to play and. I know when I'm at my best, and that's what I'll do. Uh, there's a perception out there that there's Jay Gruden's offense here, and there's what Robert Griffin III does well here, <laughs> and there's very little intersection between the two. Now, I, I know you think that's not true, but are you, is he starting to figure out you know, maybe what you do better, and, and you're learning what you know, the, his philosophy is better as, as you spend more time working together? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's part of the growth of the team and, and uh, growing together as a quarterback and a head coach. But... I can tell you now, whatever Jay wants to run, that's what we're going to run. And uh, that's what we're going to be successful at. I'm bought in. The guys are bought in. So there's nothing much I can really say there. Robert, everyone's, everyone's optimistic, obviously, about going into a new season. Uh, just going into year two of Jay's offense and seeing the new additions uh, that Scott McLuhan brought in, how optimistic are you going into this year? I mean, I'm, I'm always optimistic. Uh, I, don't, I think if you're not thinking about the ultimate goal in football every time you step on that field and win in a Super Bowl, uh, then you've already failed. So that's that's always our goal. Whether people believe it or not, it doesn't matter. We have to believe it. We have to prove it. Uh, I think that's what everybody's focus has been. No one's working uh, for second place or third place. Everybody wants to get first. So that's every team's optimal goal, and uh, that's what we're that's what we're looking at. But we know we got to make sure we take care of day one before we can get to there.